to One Left Gym. Given the fact that you're likely going to be taking your Bronco to places where you'll track in a lot of sand and dirt, using all-weather mats instead of carpeted mats is a really good idea. We already have the Ford OEM all-weather mats installed, but we were approached by a company called LastFit to see if we'd review their mats. So this seemed like a good time to compare Ford's mats against what looked like a really good, cheaper alternative. If you were to purchase the Ford all-weather mats along with their rear cargo mat, you would be looking at around $330. The complete set of mats from LastFit will run you about $216 or $140 less than Ford set. They also give you the option to purchase the floor mats separate from the cargo mat if you don't want or need the full set. If you do want to get a set after seeing this video, there will be a discount code in the description below that will save you an additional 15%. This would make the full set about $184. The last fit mats were nicely packaged in one box, which was itself shipped inside another box for protection. All the mats have a really cool tire tread pattern theme, which not only looks good, but it definitely adds some non-slip functionality to them. The rear mats are actually a single piece, which is a little different than Ford's version, which is two pieces. The cargo mat was folded in the box, but given its thickness, laid down relatively flat right out of the box. All the mats are really thick compared to other aftermarket mats I'd previously tried. Here's what the Ford driver side mat looks like installed. I apologize for the condition of the Ford mats as they're somewhat used looking by now. You can see how the driver side is held in place by two clips and how well it fits. And if you look closely, you'll see that the mat only covers the lower half of the footrest. The last fit driver side mat fits very well and snaps right in. One thing I notice is that the last fit mat snaps are solid with no hole going all the way through. So if you get anything wet in here, it's not going to find its way underneath like it might with the Ford mats. One thing I really like about the driver side mat is that it completely covers the footrest, unlike the Ford mat. The Ford passenger side mat is held in by one clip, which is a little odd, though I guess it's not as important to keep the passenger side mat from shifting compared to the driver side. It does look a little unbalanced to me though. The passenger side mat has two snaps, but obviously only one actually snaps in. I don't know if adding the second one was just an aesthetics thing, so it matched the driver side, but my OCD does like that. Another thing I like about the passenger side mat is that it extends a little further forward than the Ford version. The Ford rear mat is a two-piece construction. The driver side covers not only the floor, but the middle bump too. It also has a really cool white Bronco molded into it. Here you can see how the passenger side fits. The only issue I have is it's a little unclear to me the best way it should interlock with the driver side mat. Over or under. The last fit mat is a single piece, so I guess that question doesn't apply here. The mat fits really well on both the driver and passenger sides. The only issue I have is with the middle area. It doesn't really conform well to the bump. However, if you wanted to, you could cut it where it meets the passenger side and then sort of tuck it under so it fits more like the Ford version. The Ford cargo mat is really nicely made. It does fit really well and I particularly like how it covers the tailgate lip for a little added protection. And it does have a white Bronco molded in which is cool too. The last fit cargo mat fits well, but didn't initially lay completely flat. It did just come folded out of the box though and should flatten out as the rubber relaxes over time. I really like the pattern in the cargo mat even more than the regular floor mats. There are nicely marked spots for the tie downs if you want to cut these areas open. My only gripe is that I would have liked to have seen this extend out a little further to cover the tailgate lip like Ford's version. 
Both the Ford and Last Fit versions are really well made. The fit for both is overall exceptional. Honestly, I think the Last Fit front and rear mats fit a little better around the edges than the Ford mats. However, I do think the Ford cargo mat fits a little better than the Last Fit mat. If I had to go out and buy a full set of all weather mats, I'd definitely go with the Last Fit mats given the quality and incredible price. Also, I would go with their mats over those really cheap aftermarket Chinese mats you'll find on Amazon, not only because of the quality, but because the mats were designed by Last Fit, which is located in California. And maybe it's just me, but I'd rather support an American-owned business when I can. Yes. Well, hopefully this information was useful to you. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you later.